Hi. Whenever you work with multiple branches and whenever you merge multiple branches to the main branch, there might be possibility that some files may get conflicted. Now, what do you mean by conflicted? Consider that. Consider that we have a. This is the scenario we have. Now, consider that we have. Just a minute. Consider that we have this file ABC in the main branch or or you can say PQR in the main branch and this is also PQR in the PQR branch main and PQR main and PQR so I can say main over here and this would be the PQR main and the PQR correct now inside the main content is different and inside the inside the PQR of txt PQR.txt in a main branch content is different and inside the PQR.txt inside the FT PQR branch content is different so whenever you merge ft let's rename it instead of it's a branch name remember that ftpqr and inside that we are targeting which file we are targeting pqr.txt file pqr.txt and same file in this so the content of pqr.txt and the content of the pqr of dot txt is different in both the branches main and the ftpqr so git will get obviously confused which content should i consider this content this content so this term is called as conflict this term is called as conflict git will say that boss i don't know what to do your pqr.txt from the main branch is having some different content and pqr.txt from the ftpqr branch is having some different content what should i do that's the topic how should i handle these things there are multiple strategies of handling the content uh, conflicts right so a lot of time whenever a lot of time whenever you work with multiple people multiple branches you will see the conflicts right you will see the conflict remember that R remember that conflicts can be resolved by sitting with the other developers by communicating with the other developers First, you need to identify the conflict. How do you identify? You will see something like this in your file. You will see something markers like this in your file. So this part is conflicted. Right? Resolving the conflicts. To resolve the conflicts, you need manually editing the files. We'll see that. We are going to use a VS Code for this. VS Code is having a classical setup on all these things saving the resolved conflict after you resolve the conflict you need to save it then again you need to make a git add right and git merge or the git rebase you need to do once you perform the merging this is the merge once you perform the merging you need to test the complete code that is working or not right it is important to remember that conflict resolution is an interactive and the manual process. In the next video, we will see a live demo 
of getting the conflict and how do we resolve them. I hope you have understood very simple thing conflict. So you will get a more clarification once you see the practical on it. Thank you. If you have any queries write it in the comment box.